been knowing you for a long time. long time. I know a lot of people been knowing you all for a long time. Always known you've been straight up in the life, in the game. I bet that's why I'm calling you on this show. Oh, thank you. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I know you've been there, done that. You're admired by a lot of people, myself included. Oh, thank you. All through your career. Yeah. And it's just that, uh, you know, I know it wasn't all easy. Not wasn't easy. You know what I mean? I know you've been through trials and tribulations. There's people that admire you, a lot of people like you. This is where I'm calling you to the show to explain these things. And some, explain some of your uh, okay. uh, past and present. Yeah, my name is uh, Gangster Brown from Oakland, California. Uh, come into the life about 1973, 1974. And I had a, they said it was a good life, fortunate life. Um, I was able to still be here to talk to you today. That's right. That's right. And I'm very proud that the knowledge I received of the 101 rules helped me be able to be here today. Exactly. And I stayed focused, stayed free, stayed drug free to be able to be able to do the things that I have done. And now I'm in the film industry, I have my own company, GB Records Entertainment Hollywood. And I started it in 2007 as having fun or retired from the light. And then it took me all the way to now I'm in San Francisco Black Film Fest. Being interviewed by the gentleman that I put in my DVD. That's right. That's and now here I am. Come on now. That's why I'm so glad. You know how we have a way in the game. Uh, we used to say how, how things took on down. How, how we have a way of taking care of our own. Right. And now we got a chance now with the San Francisco Black Film Festival. There's a lot of people exactly like you. I didn't know it was that many. I, I, I didn't know it was that many. You know, you know what I'm saying, because I admire everything that you have done. You've helped a lot of people, man. You know what I'm saying? So you still, yeah, that's what I'm saying, baby. You've been there. You're really doing it. I mean, you living what you call you living a real life, man. I'm talking about the people that dream about that you actually make it come true. You feel you've helped a lot of people, man. I've seen that. I've, I've watched you through your career. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? I, I mean, I can't think of one person. You know, and then one other question I want to say. I've known all through your career, and everybody knows that, that you've been a drug-free person. You never messed with drugs or anything. You escaped all that. Yeah. And man, I'm talking about that's an admiration right there. Yeah. It ain't a little about the things you're doing, some of your DVDs. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, that's very, very easy. My newest one that's going to drop June 18th is called The Gospel of the Game. From Jimmy Starr, Philmo Slim, and Gangster Brown. This is our latest product that's going to be coming to you June 18th. And like I said, you can go to the website, gangsterbrown.com is there. And it's going to have a distribution deal through City Hall Records. That's one of them. Then we had the legendary Fillmore Slim Blues DVD that dropped January 10th, 2013. This is volume one of the legendary Fillmore Slim Blues DVD. He has maybe like five CDs under his belt, but this is his first blues DVD. And I'm responsible. You can also find that on my website as well. And then we have the Life and Times of Gangster Brown 1. And this is my documentary slash small budget movie that was done with some of the greats. Too Short, Big Daddy Kane, Ice-T, Snoop Dogg, Divine Brown, Filmo Slim, and myself. This one came out in 2007-2008. And my newest one that really taken me to the next level of life is called The Life and Times of Gangster Brown Part 2. This has 40 or 50 of the Bay Area or Cross Country players. I took some of the players that I know that knew my life story and we put this together and this DVD is doing real well. We have a name of list them. We have Candyman, Virgil, Fillmore, Pretty Boy Slim, Dirty Red, Kenny Reds, a whole host of players to come up to about 40. It's three DVDs in one. Uh, when it's over with playing, push 
uh, bonus footage and it starts all over again. So this is my latest one and this one really has been taking me across the world, across the country because they can't believe some of the stories that they're hearing that a person from their fast life have lived. I don't condone, endorse what I've done. Like I explained to my friend behind the camera, it just happened that way. <laughs> Tell it like it is, man. <laughs> and I also have a new clothing line called Vanity Accessions. My clothing line for females online. And uh, this is something that we started maybe about 60 days ago, so it's still growing. And so, you know, my main thing I like to say, first of all, um, I never forgot where I come from. And I just wanted to be able to share the knowledge that I received. You know, I've been doing a lot of speaking San Francisco University, San Quentin three times, all through the Oakland churches and everything, trying to help the youngsters understand that I don't condone what I've done, but if you choose to go the wrong way, I get them the good and the bad, but it's better to stay in school, get education, because this ain't nothing to play. They're giving all the youngsters football numbers. And just so that I can say that some of those who believe and listen to my words, it came out good for them because now I didn't save a lot of brothers that's moving forward to understand it ain't what it seems. Don't let me glorify because I have a suit and I'm smiling. It wasn't easy. And they always ask me, would I do it again? Would I do it again? Would you live that life again? I don't think so. Uh, uh, I should have stayed with my music first that I was a drummer and that's why I should have stayed. My father told me that so I was hard-headed and went the opposite direction but thank God I'm here to speak to you. Don't want to try that. And, uh, but uh, you couldn't put it no better other way. That's why I, I called you on the show. Because on, I've seen him throughout his career. You understand that everything, everybody that, that know him, know that, that, that uh, these exact words, they're not just another ghetto story. You understand that the people that don't know him, get acquainted with him in his DVDs. You understand he's well known. You understand, and, and I'm and, and, and uh, uh, Gangsta Brown. I'm so glad and proud to have you here on my show. I want to ask you back. Oh, I you know back. what I'm saying? And I want to, you, you know what I'm saying? I want to thank you very much. And listen, like I said, you know, there's a lot of people that are taking their time, you know, and money and everything to bring you this here. You understand what I mean? Because we feel that it's a serious time. That's why I'm bringing out all the stuff. I went straight, I went straight, and got somebody that I'm talking about. He's not just sitting up here, but go to the DVD if you really wanna, if you really wanna get a, 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 some real research, just go to the DVD or ask around. They'll tell you the same thing. In all my closes, I usually ask my guests to look straight in their camera. And tell and tell them what you would tell you know what just just what it is. But what I have to say to y'all out there, if you listen and you pay attention, you can go farther. If you don't listen to somebody, somebody, you will be headed for self-destruction. This knowledge that you will receive, good or bad, very important that you find somebody that you trust and believe in, and you will go much farther. I have the old saying, good game, ten step forward. Bad game, 10 steps backwards. The smarter you are, the farther you go. The sharper you are, the longer you last. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thanks again, Grace <laughs> Brown. Hey, and always closing, as Sam Skinner says, if you can't be a good sport, don't play.